dimensional analysis so let's look at this question on the board the force f acting on the wing of an aircraft moving through air of velocity v and density p is given by the equation f equals k v raised power x p raised power y and a raised power z where k is a dimensionless constant and a is the surface area of the wings of the aircraft use dimensional analysis to determine the values of x y and z hello guys if you are watching this channel for the first time please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos so from this question we are expected to use dimensional analysis to find the values of x y and z i want you to watch this video to the end so that i can understand how you can use dimensional analysis to solve problems stay tuned you are giving f equals kv power x p power y and a power z we are asked to find the values of x y and z which are constant so what you are going to do now is to know what each parameter stands for this is force and force is mass times acceleration okay so the unit of force unit of mass here will be what kilogram why that acceleration is meter per second square so for us to get the dimension i'm going to have m l t minus two that is for force k is constant i can assume that k is equals to one what is v v is velocity what is velocity the unit of velocity is meters per second and the dimension will be l t minus one p in this question is given as density what is density density is mass over volume mass over volume and the unit is what kilogram per meter cube okay for us to get the dimension i will have m l minus three a is area unit of area is meter square so the dimension of area is l square okay so let us write the question again so that we can solve okay what is f i'm just going to write the dimension of f which is mlt minus 2 is equals to dimension of m is lt minus 1 all raised power of what x dot dimension of density is ml minus 3 all raised to the power of what y dimension of area is l power 2 all raised to the power of what z okay so i can open the bracket by multiplying the powers to each of them i have m l t minus 2 is equals to l x t minus x dot m y l minus 3 y dot l 2 z the next thing i'm going to do is to collect like terms so m l t minus 2 is equals to now since i have the first letter as m i'm going to bring m first here 
is equal to m raised to the power of what? y dot. The next one I have is what? L. So I'll have L. So let me collect all the L together. This is L power x, then L power minus 3, and L power 2 z. So I'll have L power x dot L power minus 3y dot L power 2z. Okay? The, the last one is t. t power minus what? x. So if you have that, before I can find the values of them, let me bring these ones together with the law of indices. So I have m l t minus 2 is equals to m power y dot l power i'll bring them together x minus 3y plus 2z dot t or minus x now if you have gotten to this i'm going to equate them together to find your known i'm going to equate them together to find your known this m already have invisible power of what one so i will have power one power one from the law of indices so let me equate them m raised to the power of one is equals to y raised to the power of what y let me equate this together to get the values of what y something is common the basis m is the same so i'm going to cancel this i'm left with what y is equals to what one so I've gotten my y to be equals to 1. So the next is to find, I can decide to find my t first before my l, okay? So I will say t minus 2 is equals to t power minus x. So I will cancel t, I cancel t, minus 2 is equals to minus what? x. So minus cancels what minus therefore x is equals to what two so let me go to y let me go to l l power one is equals to l power what x minus three y plus two z okay i will cancel my l so i'm left it one is equals to x minus 3y plus 2z already i have gotten my x and my y my y is equals to one and my x is equals to two so i'm going to substitute one is equals to what is my x two two minus three brackets my y is equals to one is equals to 2z okay so this is 2 is equals to sorry 1 is equals to 2 brat 2 minus this times is 3 times 1 is going to give me 3 it's going to give me 3 okay plus 2z all right so 1 is equals to 2 minus 3 is going to give me minus 1 plus 2z. Minus 1 is going to cross the sign of equality to have 1 minus 1 is equals to 2z. Therefore, I will have 2 is equals to 2 what? Z. For me to get the value of z, z is equals to 2 over 2 is equals to what? 1. So, guys, you can see that my x is equals to 2, my y is equals to 1, and my z is equals to what? 1. So, this is how we can use dimensional analysis to find the values of x, y, and z. I hope you love this video. I will drop the assignment on dimensional analysis.
solve it and drop your answer in the comment section stay tuned bye